and uh, to discuss more on this uh, what this could be, uh, what this could mean for India's economy and its growth. Joining me on the broadcast is Mr. Ashish Modani, Senior VP and uh, uh, a Group Head of Corporate Ratings, ICRA. Mr. Modani, uh, thank you very much for speaking to us and joining us. Now, Mr. Modani, the government has said that these smart cities will cement India's role in global value chains uh, with uh, essentially what is being seen as ready to allot land for investors. In fact, uh, these cities are being referred to as uh, almost plug and play. How do you view this uh, ambitious project? I know what central government is developing 11 industrial corridor projects as a part of national industrial corridor program across the country in a phase manner and which is targeted towards ease of doing business and also support competitiveness of the Indian manufacturing sector. Now when you're talking about today's announcement it's regarding 12 new project proposal across six corridors and 10 states is a part of this uh, 11 corridor itself. And this is in line with the finance minister announcement in the union budget where it was announced that 12 investment ready to plug and play industrial paths will be developed going forward. So one should appreciate that this investment will be spread over the next four to five years. And these are not immediate investments. But at ICRA, we believe that this dedicated program will not only support corporate sector in facilitating the approvals and necessary infrastructure and reduce delay in project implementation as well as provide employment to the large pool of semi-skilled labor force. So from all stakeholders' perspective, this is a win-win situation. Right. Uh, now also, uh, Mr. Modani, the government, of course, is hoping to build hubs that will have both anchor industries as well as uh, MSMEs that essentially uh, the government hopes will be able to attract huge investments. Now, uh, what, according to you, will be the challenges to that? Yeah, so in terms of challenges, land acquisition is a state subject and it's always a tricky affair. So improved coordination in terms of land acquisition as well as providing necessary infrastructure and basic utility needs in a time-bound manner remains very crucial for investment to scale up. And one important thing, the primary thing is getting an anchor company itself because that is very important. Unless until you have an anchor company, the development of a uh, MSME hub around that uh, is very, very difficult and challenging task. So this uh, challenge needs to be addressed and then it will take off. All right, Mr. Madani, thank you very much for joining us and uh, taking out the time to speak to us. Thank you, Nipur.